Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom getting here back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the previous video, we went through some of Renya Gota's story and some ba uh, uh, a battle, not some battles, it was just a battle. My guess is now every everything after him has to be during the final battle now. I mean, that just makes the most sense. Since, I mean, unless for whatever reason they do a whole like, oh, here's something that happens beforehand. So, when, okay, when does he... Shit. Because I think what... Because I'm, like, so confused as to when that... So I think probably what would be for the best is actually going to his thing to figure this out. I don't need to, like, go through everyone. So, because I'm trying to figure out when does he and Mira... Run, or, like, when does him and Mira meet up? Like, it has to be after that scene, right? Something happened here, so we're all here. Something does that, does that, does that, does that, does that. So he's got them. No, it was before that scene, okay. Yeah, so all that stuff happened beforehand. So then. So, 297, 256, okay. I don't remember when the final battle is, so 297. And 256. No, it wasn't 256. It was two, 297. There's a lot of stuff in between his thing. I was like, okay, well. So there's a lot of stuff in between. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff between 259 and 297 or whatever that number was. So this stuff could be it. Or such, so. I don't know. We're getting into we're definitely getting into the final stretch here, but I'm somewhat ran into a little bit of a conundrum here. And let me tell you my conundrum. So my conundrum here is. As you guys have noticed, there's been one exception to this rule. And that was during the prologue because both Shu Amaguchi's prologue was very short, so I just went straight into Aisuke Gahara's uh, prologue, and like they evened out along with the two battles that I had to do with it during the prologue. As you guys have noticed, I like doing these videos in a way that I only really focus on one character. But now, since I am like in a position where literally the next thing I do. For a majority of these characters, if not all of these characters, is it's their fat finale. So I was like, okay, that won't be such a big deal. But then I run into another problem here. I run into the the battle problem, which is, as you guys know before, another thing is I like to say, oh, okay, I'm done with, the, oh, that, that character is locked. Okay, let's go do a battle. So I like doing that. But as you guys know, I think I'm three battles into the final wave here. So I'm three waves in, so that means I only have seven left. But I obviously have, have way more than seven characters. I have one, two, three, not count Gota, four, five, six, seven. That's seven right there. You know what? I'm not even going to count to Takatoshi because I need to beat. I probably, probably the next time I do Gota's thing is probably when I'll be able to do Takatoshi. So, seven. So, that still leaves me with Shu, Yuki, and Ryoko. So, that leaves me with three characters that I will end up not having to do a battle. Now, another thing I also want to do is I don't want to do this, the final wave, until I have beaten everyone's story. Because I think that's... I mean, Grant, I don't know. There could be, like, one big finale battle afterwards. So, like, as soon as I, like, mo probably either Takatoshi and or... Uh, Gota's story Once I am done with that Because my guess is if, if it's not going to be Gota that's the final story It's probably going to be Takatoshi so My problem with that is That That takes out one of them already So that like so I have six instead of Seven so that's one two three 
four, five, six. So that means Kisaragi, Amaguchi, Takamiya, and Shinonome. Now, granted, that's not so bad because then it's like, oh, I could just do Kisaragi or you know, I, I this isn't the order I do it in, but you know what I mean. I'm leave, I'm left with two. I'm left with a uh, one pa two pairs. So it's like, oh, well, that's not so bad. It's like, oh, I could do Kisaragi and then do shoot. Granted, I can't even do um I can't even do her until probably after. I do shoes final thing. So that's another thing. Granted, we will end up doing shoes final thing beforehand, but like let's just say they're all unlocked right now. There there's no barrier behind any of them right now. So it's like, okay, I do everyone and do all the battles besides the last battle. Okay, that means I have So I do everyone that then I should end up with only Gota, Takatoshi, Tomei, Shu, Yuki, and Ryoko. Now, what I could do is like, oh, I'll do Tomei and Shu. And I'll do y Yuki and Ryoko. Oh, and then I will do Gota and Takatoshi. Granted, Gota's not even at 50% yet, although he will be there next time I do his thing. Um, but it's still like, I run into a problem here. And obviously, now that I'm doing kind of like a special thumbnail for when I do a clear. Now, granted, I could flat out just do a dual thumbnail. The, those pictures aren't so bad that it's like, oh... I don't think they'd look terrible, in my opinion, if I did do a dual uh, thumbnail like that. I mean, they're all just a generic white background with their name, their portrait, and their name in Japanese. Like, they're all very close together like that. So, if I need to do it, I could do it that way. But I digress. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, going, I, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Um when uh in the last video we went through gota stuff we learned how he guess i he has a crush on Muramura, and i believe it's professor Muramura, which is the what the child chiori uh uh chiori has um has the professor's memories not the teacher's memories which they're two completely different people obviously but uh yeah so uh we're probably going to learn a lot about right. Chiori Muramura because I have a feeling Iori Fujisaki is actually a clone of Chiori Muramura because it just makes the most sense. Obviously, given that uh, in the tapes we've seen her referred to as Muramura, we've seen her. We like even in some of the fucking analyst stuff, their mystery files are like, oh, this lady looks like Iori. Oh, this lady looks like Iori. You know her name is Chiori Fuji. No, Chiori. Muramura. So, all right, let's go in and finish up Iori Fujisaka. And who knows? Maybe, maybe this isn't their last ones. Maybe there's actually like two story bits or something. Ah, uh, here we go again. Here we go again. Are we gonna get some more food talk? We're gonna get some more food talk. We're gonna get both of the foods, all the foods. That's another thing too. Here's like there's a trophy for. I think it's like eating. I don't know if like drinking's a part of it, probably. But it's like drink uh all the uh eat all the food or take all the drinks that the game has to offer too, so uh obviously there's probably gonna be more food in this area here, so So, that's probably not a big deal. Now, my guess is, this has to be taking place after we did the whole love thing with Ai Sekigahara, so. Alright, let's go. Oh, there she is. I was like, where is she? Where am I? Shall we get a bite to eat? Uh, yeah. Good idea. You can choose, Miwako. Is something wrong with Sami-chan? First, you helped me look for that record. Now this. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Oh, Aww, I love Miwako. I just figured, you know, you know all the best places to go. Hmm. Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure it's okay for me to decide? Uh, of course. Of course. In that case. You cool with that, Iori? Yes. Is that okay? I'm not hungry. 
actually. I don't really feel like eating right now. Oh, that's right. You're suffering from love sickness. <laughs> don't think we can't tell. What are you guys talking about? Oh my god, this is so adorable. Hey, come on, spill Ship the number beans. four. I thought we were friends, Yuri chan. Oh, you're puffy you cheeks. Going to tell us what happened with your crush? Oh, you're yeah, the puffy cheeks. Ah, oh, I said this in the previous video, and I'll probably keep seeing this video. Let me say this flat out. I love the English voice acting in this game, and it's a miracle that it happened. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but everyone had to record their lines while in quarantine, and then the programmers or whoever it is, the voice people who, you know, put the voices to the games here, they had to, like, mix it all up to make it sound like it came from a from an actual professional studio. Now, granted, majority of voice actors probably built their own at-home studio that's probably near perf near quality as a an actual studio studio <laughs> but they still you know there's probably like some tweaks every now and then like maybe you heard like oh there was a rustle of a of like one of their pets's collars you can hear that in the background so they had to like you know cut that out and obviously 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 they probably had multiple 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 takes probably like five takes ten takes 20 takes i don't know what a normal take they would do in a normal day but they probably doubled that what they would do they probably doubled how many takes they would have normally done in a regular studio just to like make sure that it's like okay like that one was good but maybe there was something in the background we did here let's just do it again all right that one was better do it again do it again do it again that's also another thing to do is repetition 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 it's always good thing about like all these recordings like because you never know. It's like, oh, hey, one take. Hey, I was all perfect. But then it's like, ah, you know, always have backups. You always want backups. That's why you should always. That's why whenever you record something, always do it in three takes at least. Like when it's something like this, I would say. Always do something in three takes. Uh, it's a little hard when it comes to like some things. It's kind of hard to like do multiple takes in. But it's, you know, it's whatever. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm just saying this as someone who doesn't know anything about, you know, when it comes to recording uh your voice and such and such so get the fuck out of here you fly see that's another thing too like maybe they could have through the fly like moving around slowly like that now granted i'm not saying like there's never zero any flies in like a regular studio but exactly like and obviously every single person will have a different mic than than the other person so they have to like make sure it's like okay they all right this sounds the same all right that sounds like it's from this mic that sounds from like okay perfect so so i say bravo bravo to the people at atlas manilaware who made it so and of course the actors can never can never take anything away from the actors for this game because it's a fucking miracle that the english dub for this game happened it is a fucking miracle so bravo to them now, going back to what I was originally going to talk about, I fucking love Miwako's voice actress. Fucking loved her as Haru. I fucking loved her as uh, Marianne. I, I want to hear her in more stuff. I want to hear her in more stuff because she's so fucking good. Now, now, obviously, like, her voice, her voice is, like, again, I don't know, like, if she's been in anything besides those three things. She probably has, and I just haven't heard them, but... She definitely has a distinct voice. It's like, you can definitely tell, like, oh, that person is straight up her. Actually, fuck. Wasn't she also, um... Uh, I can't remember her name, but she's the ultimate cosplayer in Danganronpa V3. I can't remember her name. Uh, but she also voiced her too, right? Because now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, her voice is fairly close to that. So... It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. Um, and it's, it's not as high. I don't think high pitch is what I'm thinking here. But, like, it's not as uh, soft-spoken, let's say. She's definitely soft-spoken as Haru. And it's definitely as Marianne, because that's Marianne's character. And somewhat as uh, Miwako here. So, But I'm trying to think about... Um, I can't remember her fucking name. God, I can barely remember anyone's name besides Gota, Ryoma... Actually, no, Ryoma. Yeah, was Ryoma? Yeah, Ryoma was the ultimate ta tennis player. Um, I believe. So you had him. And Suichi, obviously. Uh, Maki. 
well, Maki Roll, uh, Kaede, of course, and Ko Koichi. Koichi, can never forget about Koichi. Um, I can't even remember the first guy who died. Um, Angie. Fucking hell, her. And, uh, oh, fuck, the magic girl. Fuck, I was always remembered her. And Kaito, Kaito me, Kaito, start with an M, right? I can't remember the last names. It's been a while since I've done anything in V3, but, um, but I remember some voices. So it wouldn't surprise me if she was the same character. Anyway, I digress. I fucking love her voice. That's that. We have a right to know. We have a right to know. Yeah, you, you, you puffy face. That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. Here. And the person with me was... <laughs> Koto-senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boys? They keep showing up in my dreams. You're at that age, girl. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. It's so fucking cute, though. I fucking love her. Every day, I, I love Miwa Chan. I think, I think I've said this before. And I said again, Miwa is my favorite character. That's not playable. I love her so they much. Keep me up at night. So sleepy. Ah, so sleepy. A giant UFO buried underground. Sonic Is underground. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe not chance getting to my head. Once you start Sonic talking about underground. UFOs, you never the end of it. Gotta love her though. Gotta love her though. So obviously this obviously this has this is taking place after this. I mean, makes sense. So. Did you at least get his name? Don't tell me. You just ran up to him and confessed. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did that. I did. Oh, god damn it, Joker! Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Sanjali Lee Morris. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but Sanjali Lee Morris voices Tomoki Sarage, so. Sekigahara. Hey, Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Of all people. You know him, Usami chan? Yes, she does. She does. Because this takes place after she comes back from 2025. And she knows that Sekigahara saved her. But I don't think she knows that he lost his memories. Well, then again, she didn't lose her. This is before he lost his memories. So all of her stories is taking place before uh, Seiki Gahara's story that we play through of him as. So, major. That's actually. Mm, no, wrong button. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, I I want to say I think. Have we really seen? Have we not seen him? Have we not seen him outside of after losing his memories? Now that they bring out the possibility of him maybe not being the one that killed, uh, 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 Morimura, it could be a possibility that maybe he didn't. Like maybe this is the actual killing, or this is the actual killing, and like we see like the actual killer actually like knocked him out. Because remember, he was supposed to capture her. So, so that's still I uh, we're playing. Oh yeah, just look at the protagonist part here. No, we have not seen anything that we are not playing as Sekigahara 
past after he loses memories. That's interesting. Well, uh, let's just say you should stay away from that guy. No, I'm not going to. Why? He's not a normal high school kid. To be fair, neither are we. He's involved in some shady business. Okay, we're not involved in shady business, but it's still <laughs> fucked. Tell me. I... I loves him. I know our ways of life are worlds apart. Uh, it may be dangerous. It may be stupid. Oh, it's entirely stupid, honey. But I can't stop how I feel. And I respect that. Yuri. Oh, hey, speak of the Fusaka. devil. Hey, baby. Wanna go for a ride on my motorcycle? Vroom, vroom. Uh -huh. Come with me if you want to live. Live with me if you want to come. Wait, what? Yes, you heard me. Live with me if you want to come. Ah! This is someone that, oh my god. I freaking look at Iori. She's like, hey, player, don't fuck this up. I want to get laid, okay? God, it's so fucking weird. Saying this about like 16-year-olds. I don't know what fucking 16, 17-year-olds. Nah, nah, 16-year-olds. Um, I don't know how people were like back at... This is the 80s, man. People were... It was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. At least in America it was. Right? That was happening around... No, that was 70s, 80s, right? Nah, uh, whatever. Yeah, no, it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. What? But no, she's looking at... She's looking at... She could tell she's looking at the place. She's like, hey, don't mess this up for me, okay? I know you really don't really have a choice as it matters with, like... But you. you. What do you want with Yori? Tell me, Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. You bitch. I mean, my coach is in the middle. She's like, ah, this is a love triangle. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Wait, that's not. This is my Haru voice. I don't want to deal with the love triangle right now. Well, I guess I'm somewhat doing it. Yeah, who cares? There's no time to explain. Live with Just me come. if you want to come. Please, Fuyusaka. Okay. Yuri chan. Go for it. Go for it. Follow your heart. Oh, I love her so. You need to go. I love go. her so much, especially during that animation. I mean, my character is blocking it, but like, you know, she's just shaking her head up and down like that. It's so fucking cute. Uh, right. Well then. So rad. Do you still have those dreams? Do you have a radio? Um, I, I like your soul ride. I forgot who sang the song, and I'm honestly not even 100% sure if that's the name of the song. But take it easy. Bam, bam, bam. I believe it's called. I believe that what they're saying is slow ride. Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. Ah, shit. It's time. It's time for me to die at his hands. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. Oh, here we go. And I was 100% correct. We are going to... We're going to learn that Iori is probably a clone of Chihiro... Uh, Morimura. Obviously, I feel like that's something that a lot of people... As soon as we learned that Baby Chihiro it was a clone of Muramura, we should have... Like, you should put two and two together because you should have obviously have seen, like, the uh, dreams that both Iori and uh, Juro have had where she is referred to as Morimura or Chihor Ch Chihiro. So, yeah. You should probably be like, uh, is she a clone? And especially when... Some of the things in the mystery files say, hey, this lady looks like Chiori. Uh, she looks like Yori. No way. Future technology does have that capability. You mean Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Just as you saw in your dreams. If that's true, are Amiguchi kun and Karabe kun the same? Karabe? 
You're acquainted with Tamau san? Tamau? No, I meant Juro Kurabe from my class. Ah. This is when he's gonna learn about him being about Izumi. Juro. So that's it. Why did I have a memory transplant? If I had to guess, no. It's better you hear it from her directly. Okay. I'm also let's go back to what we learned in Gota's thing too. There were four people that died while trying to shift. One of them was Tomokisarage. And my guess is the idol that Shu talks to was also there too. But then again, doesn't, isn't one of her songs called the Naba Rabbit? And I'm remembering back during Megumi's prologue how Kisaragi brought up a song called the Naba Rabbit, unless that's her, her character name. But, hmm. I'm just trying to think, maybe they're this, maybe, maybe the idol. No, 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 she has a different, mm. I don't know. From Miss Morimura? We'll be seeing her soon. Oh. Well, obviously this is before he killed her, so. This is going to be interesting. Shahira Morimura's com confession. Now, is it baby or teacher? She's probably. at the park? It's probably baby. Hey, wait! It's probably baby Chihiro. Looks like we got here first. Hi, baby. Let's wait here. Hmm. What is it? I can't stop staring at you. Um. Hey, Sekigahara kun. Would you mind if I called you a kun? If that's what you want. He's so not like granted he knows that um this obviously happened after that after he com she confessed to him and she never gave he never gave an answer so yeah yay oh that's so cute yay yay uh fuck i can't remember her voice actress name but she's doing a fantastic job too Oh. What's wrong? Hey, baby cakes, baby cakes, baby cakes, baby cakes, baby cakes. Behind every man is a. Behind every strong man is a strong woman. I don't know if the strong part and the man part's in that saying. It's like behind, I think it's just behind every strong. Behind every man, there's a strong. Or maybe it's like behind every strong man, there's a stronger woman or something like that. I honestly don't remember, but like, hey, here it is. Behind every strong man, there's a strong woman. They're both strong. Okay. What's going on, baby cakes? Are you okay? You taking them pills? Those damn fucking pills? You know, I grew up just like you. Mm hmm? Right here in Ashitaba City. Oh, okay. Well, 80 years into the future, that is. You saw it, right? The wreckage. The wreckage. The reckoning! It'll happen here any day now. Just as you saw in your dreams. AKA, it'll be the final battle, and we're currently doing them right now. Well, yeah. This town will come under attack by the Daimos. I actually... I somewhat like that. And I like it how, in the battles, they're so fucking vague about a lot of shit. In it, that's like you can do those battles now. Grant, you probably don't want to do all 10 battles of the first area like as soon as you can. No, I, I feel like doing it the way that I did it probably makes it a little bit better. Now, Grant, I didn't see Child here. That was the first time I saw Child Hero, when actually the first time you would see Child Hero was during uh, Mira's uh, story, so I don't know. If it would have been better, it's like, hey, maybe I should have just unlocked every single character first, but you have to get into quite a bit of the story in order to unlock every single character. And as a matter of fact, I think you need to, at some point, with some of those characters, you have to beat the 10th stage of that, or at least the 5th stage, so. 
And I believe that's when you see Child Chihiro is during the 10th wave of that. I'll probably do this off screen is I'll probably play through all of the levels that I've already done in battle on like intense since I've been doing it on uh, normal and obviously where I'm at now like from the beginning with what level all my characters are at right now will probably definitely be a I don't want to say a cakewalk but it'll probably be a little easier if those dreams were Miss Morimura's memories that's why you both came here right yeah sure to fight the kaiju not Morimura not anymore. She can't do it. At this point, it's up She's to us. not a teenager. Us? Because only teenagers can pilot the robots. Have you not watched Evangelion? Oh, wait, that hasn't come out yet. I think that comes out in 10 years? Came out in the 90s, right? Like 90. Because this isn't about to get like its 30th anniversary. Or did it already pass its 30th anniversary? Or did it pass its 25th anniversary? Well, let's see here. But hypothetically speaking, if its 30th anniversary was next year, that'd be 2021. So that means it's came out in 1991. I don't think that's the case. You know what? Let's just make this fucking easier and just look it up. Genesis Evangelion. 95! So yes, it just had its 25th anniversary. So it's the 25th anniversary that happened. So yeah, Evangelion will not come out until another... Yeah, 10 years. 10 or 11 years, depending on if we're in uh, 87 or 84. 85 or 84. The compatible ones. Those capable of altering this world. You're one of them. Neat. But... This world is beyond saving. Ah, uh, no, it's not. We can definitely save it. I wonder at this point if Ogata still has the key. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to see where this thing takes place at. Because that train... Probably what happens to... Because he didn't get on the train with Kisarage uh, at that moment, even though Kaiju's attacked and don't know how, even though there's something that happened afterwards. Um, probably what happened right after that, in you know, Ogata's perspective, is how we see how Natsuno got the key and then such. So I wonder if Ogata currently has the key. Actually, yeah. No, the Kaiju wouldn't attack if the key is here. So that's right. So the kaiju wouldn't attack. So that makes sense. That makes sense. I forgot that they mentioned that during uh, Takatoshi's story. They mentioned how the when the key is... At least I think it was Takatoshi's story. Or is it Takatoshi or Jura's story? One of the two. They mentioned how as long as the person who's holding the Daimos code, Daimos key, whatever, is in that sector, they will not... The, the, the kaiju will not attack it yet. They will attack every other sector. They have yet to... They only show up during the final battle, it seems. But when that is... Yeah. And everything else that happened played out in... Uh, Ogata's mind, so... So maybe either through Ogata's or Minami's perspective, we'll see how the key, the key gets to Natsuno, and then obviously during Natsuno's or whoever takes the key after her, we'll see in either Natsuno's or that person's perspective. Would you like to come with me? We can go back 16 years and try again. Oh? The city may go down, but it won't take us with it. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. Why Miwako? What about Miwachan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <sighs> yeah, no Chihiro one's real. Shihiro Morimura came here from Sector 1. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. 
so... What was Sector 1? Sector 1 is... Sector 1 was 2188, right? Or 2080 something, right? Yeah, 2088. Yeah, or 20... Whatever. That time frame. That is... Where Sector 1 is. So that is where... Chiori Muramura came from here. Which... Was 1989, right? So, yeah. So she's a clone that came from there. Or... Back up. Because remember... She, this is what she looked like on that bridge when Shu, aka Ida, came back. Well, if they came here and they implanted her with memories, with different memories for Iori, and but then what about the parents? That's another thing. Unless for some reason, like, oh, my parents are out on business trips or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's what they did. My family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. Perish now! I don't have a choice, do I? Not in that necessarily. Case, I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. And how do you plan on doing that? I don't know. You're the one with the idea of saying, hey, let's go back 16 years and we'll be ready. So I had assumed you had a plan. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. You mean Kurabe-kun? His name's Izumi, but sure. What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Their memories... Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Do you get it now? No, don't be like that, you son of a bitch. You deserve all the love, okay? Next to Mira, you're the one that deserves the love, okay? Mira deserves all the love, okay? I fucking love Mira. Mira is... Okay, I've said this before. i said this in every single video. Mira is my number one guy, and Natsuno is my number one girl. And obviously, they are the number one couple because they are fucking adorable together. But, A. Sikikahara is definitely number two guy. And he deserves the love that everyone gets. Like, he deserves just a little less than Mira. Mira deserves a whole lot. Considering <laughs> the trauma that boy. Grant, all these kids have gone through trauma. Let's not, let's not uh, sugarcoat that. They have all gone through a trauma. Oh boy. You know what? Where's Morimura? Check if Miss Morimura is here yet. Hi, bitch. Oh, Damn! Look at that ass. Fuyusaka-san. Hi. She looks just like in my dreams. Hi. Explain. Why did you bring her here? To she's expose you. your secrets. She has a right to know. Hi. I'm here. Miss Morimura. Go on. Tell her. Tell her. <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. Step 2089 is the dream of uh, the bridge really part. Memories? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Listen, you're actually my clone, okay? So you don't have any memories. So it's not really whatever. If you're not going to talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. Take over. What? It's time to put you down. Make over, die, this guy say the way I was over when you started Mumbai and Mumbai on the same guy. Game's over. She was trying to assume your identity. Oh, wow. Whoa, I didn't notice that until I started the 
Moimura has her eyes wide too. She's like, what? That's not it. I mean, it could be. Maybe that. Maybe that's a look of surprise. Like, oh shit, you know. But... Fine, I'll explain. Okay, yeah. That was my intention. Was. But things have changed. Have they? Oh. Oh. Operation Aegis is all we have left. Bullsh. Yeah, yeah, she's right. I mean, that's what we're technically doing right now. So, uh. Why does Operation Aegis have anything to do with it? So then, what's going to happen to me? Aegis, I just, I don't know. I, I think I've, I think they said it in different ways in this game. Aegis, Aegis, yeah, Aegis. Um, when Gota says it, he says Aegis. She says Aegis, or Aegis. Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. No fucking shit, you haven't. I'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. Fuck you. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Explain? Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. Now, do you mean Izumi or Karabe? Or the mixture of the two? You mean the Karabe kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? Yep. No. I have nothing to do with his current state. But, well, okay, you know what? This, ugh. This more and more might be a, the different, mm, mm, ah. This is where shit gets weird. Because she's wearing the cat's, the leather suit here. But maybe the Miss Morimura that's the teacher is actually still the teacher. And this is a different Morimura. Oh no, it, this is hurting my brains. But that could be the case. Ooh, the music here is really good too. The music, it, fucking hell. Give me one Atlas game and one Vanillaware game where the music isn't badass. You can't. You just can't. More so, Atlas, I'd, I've only known like two other Vanillaware games. Uh, Dragon's. Shit, this is Dragon's Dogma or Dragon's Crown now? Now I can't remember. No, Dragon's Crown. It's Dragon's Crown. Uh, and I can't remember. I know there was another one too, but it's, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, um. but anyway, I'm trying to think like if this is the Muramura that's... I... But then again, it could be the Muramura that was a teacher as well. So I don't know. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. Yeah, and that would have been great because he probably would have killed us all again. Oh, your memories just hit me. <sighs> oh, God. I'm remembering one hot, steamy night you two had together. We did do it. Yeah, no, you did. You did. God damn it. Oh, why am I hearing this? Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. Well, Tamal Krabe was like, no, we need a gentler side, and then they couldn't coexist with each other. So, like, hey, here's the gentler side. And then they made Sheba up, aka Izumi, and it's like, hey, here's my personality. I'm the personality that's like, hey, I'm going to show you their bad memories, too. You'll never be Izumi, but you'll be somewhat of Izumi. I guess it's going to be, like, is that what Fuyasaka is going to be, too? She's like, she'll never be Fuyasaka. But she won't be more and more either. She'll be like a combination of the two. She's not lying about her feelings. I can tell. Yes, I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. Transplant memories? Well, well, into Tamao and Shu. Why did you say Tamao? But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. Tell me! The truth is, I am no longer human. Are you an android? You're probably an android. <sighs> when the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. The 2188 you? Then what are you now? 
An illusion produced by Universal Control. Fucking hell, Universal Control. So you're not even... You're not... Like, you're, you're a person, technically, but you're not a person. If that makes sense. You're, you're basically... I mean, she said right there, she's an illusion, but we can touch and feel her. But now... So then Aisei Kikihara never actually killed anyone then, right? I don't know. We'll see. That's all that's left of me. Care to explain? You're an illusion? I, I don't understand. How did that happen? Bullshit, Is that's how. Zero supposed to prevent that? Ah. Going there allows you to escape to the next world. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. Mm. In short, it's not possible. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Okay. I'm... Instead, it scanned me in as data. Okay. I think I'm so. Let me let me give a theory out here now. So Sector Zero is basically the database. It's not a sector that you can really go to, but it's a sector that they can scan your current you put you in there and then when the loop happens they make the illusion you and then they have to transplant they make the illusion of you with those memories and then you have to transplant them into the you then which I guess could explain Chiyo, uh, Chihiro Fuyasaka here I know her name's not Chihiro, but, like, which would explain that. So, it's like, when, so, after 2188 was the 2080-something loop. And then that's where they, like, she did that. And then they just kept doing that for all those loops. They did it with Juro Izumi to the Juro Izumi then, too. I don't know if his name was ever Karabe. And they did it with the Amaguchi, a.k.a. Ida, too, probably. Like, that's my guess. It's like, they, they make a... Universal control is the motherboard with all the memories of everyone. And then when the loop happens, they make the illusion. And then it's the illusion's job to, like, slowly but surely implant the memories into their counterpart. A.K.A., like, not their clone, but, like, their, their counterpart. The one that they're compatible with. The one that looks just like them. The younger version of them. They slowly implement their memories into it until it's like, okay, we can finally, you can now finally become me. So once they do it, the illusion disappears and they're now in there. It's somewhat similar to what the android does. And if I remember correctly, Ida got that research from is Izumi. So maybe Izumi learned something about it before. I don't know. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what a loop really is. So, so yep. Yep, that is what it does. That is what I think it is. And maybe, actually maybe, maybe that's another thing too. Universal Control makes the compatible copy too, but it's not, I mean, it, it would be weird if it's like, well, here, we make your compatible with different memories and a different name. And it's your job to put yourself into their body, which doesn't really make sense. Because then why didn't they just make their body if they just made a new body? I don't know. Continue on. I think I'm so... Like, I'm, I'm so far, I'm half right with the whole... Universal control is the... It uploads, downloads your mem... It... It uploads your memory, then it does a loop, then it downloads you into an illusion, which is what she is now, and then it eventually, um, uh, yeah, because like once once the loop happens, then they make the illusion, and then it's like the illusion's job is to like, hey, universe shows like, hey, you're compatible person is here you guys slowly put your memories and such and such into them so that you can fully become them I'm, I, I feel like I could be the case as 
Until they tell me otherwise, that is what I'm going with. Oh, no, no. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. Here it is again. 15. Humans. That's a key word there, too. So we have 15 humans to carry the plan. They obviously have the, thir the 13, but then there's two others. Could... I mean, obviously, Okino is the other one, and then who is the other one? Like... Are, are you going to tell me who the 15th person is? What plan? And who 15? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. Oh, right. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held oh. captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. That's, I guess that's another thing, too, is she's technically... She probably was one of the 15, but... <sighs> But then when her role had been taken over by Fuyusaka, so is there still 15? Or is it like, oh, no, there's 15, including me and Fuyusaka, but now it's like, I don't know. No. Ah. It's hurting my brain. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world. Yes. Okay, there it is right there. So, yes. There, that's what I'm thinking. Of. Like, the version of that person born into the world is it's not entirely you but it is you in a sense it's like it's like a reincarnation thing in a way while it's technically not a future part of you it's a past part of you it's whatever um so that's what it is that is what it is okay which yeah okay Yori Fuyusaka in time she and you would be one and the same Right. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Sekigahara-kun. I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. I just need to know the other two people, or the one person, if it's, if it is Okino. But if it's not Okino, who the other two people are? You would be correct. Because I, I mean, unless for whatever reasons, Miwako, which, would be weird, is what Universal Control did with her when we came back from 2025. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. What or who could it be? Unless for whatever th reason they do decide that Iori. But then again, why isn't Ida and Shu a different person? And you plan to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Unless it's not Okino and that's the case. It's like, oh yeah, it's this the 13 characters we play as, and it's Chiori Fuyasaka, uh, <coughs> Chiori Murimura, and Tetsuya Ida, which would be weird in my opinion, because it's like, if anything, Okino seems. I mean, maybe they don't count Okino because he made the sentence. Yes. By killing you. Huh? Oh. There, I was like, okay, that took a while. Ah, uh, I see. So that one had to auto. Um. But then again, Ogino was the one who technically caused all this, so... I don't know. Are you going to shoot me right here and now? No, I'll shoot you in the back alley. You can't do that! <laughs> If Operation Aegis were put into motion, this world would be cut off from universal control. And how would that be a bad thing? What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko san and I. We never had a way out in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, seriously? Nobody knows the small little child there, huh? Shit. I bet you she killed her then. Really? No one knows the small fucking child there. Not. Ugh, fucking Akun. hell. What up, boy, friend? I'll protect you. Let's do this together. <sighs> if only I had the courage to take your hand. That would have been for the best. Would have. <sighs> boy. I repeat. Yep, we here we go. Dead the final battle. You an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. This is the exact cut. Destroying everything in its path. A 
state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Police are just gonna come running. But she's actually gonna say something here now, isn't she? It really came. The day of the attack. Only one thing left to do. Yep. Sentinel 15. What? That was his sentinel at first? Did, did they ever mention that at some point? His last... Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Wait. Akun, wait. First you show up at school all of a sudden. And then you pull me away to a place like this? Is this after his memories are gone? Maybe. Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not mentally prepared! Found it. Ah, the... Odd place to be shot. Yeah, that's where she got shot with the magical bullet. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't move. That should do it. If what 426 said is true, that's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Okay. Sentinel number 15. So, don't know how, but I guess there's a way you can do that. They'll probably mention this in the mystery files. It's a robot used to fight the Dimos. It was mine. But it's in better hands with you. I really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. So, okay, so you had 15, but now you're in 11 or 12. You're you're in a first gen sentinel, so he had a second gen sentinel, I guess. But now he's in a first gen sentinel. We'll probably learn in his story how he got that one. Fuyusaka, I. Huh? I love you. Never mind. It's nothing. Fuck you. Just forget what Morimura said, all right? Believe in yourself. Uh, Akun. That's adorable in a way. Just as Akun said, I'm going to believe in myself now. Mom, Dad, Miwa-chan, and the rest. You know what's coming up. I believe. I can, do it. I can protect you all. It's time. It's time to activate the Sentinel. I may be just a schoolgirl, but now I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot. Oh my fucking god, yes. Startle. God, that glass effect's cool. To the final battle. Invincible Schoolgirl! Oh, that's gonna be everyone's portrait for the trophies. And fuck! Dude, guys, oh my fucking god, this has me so fucking hyped! Oh, fuck. Fuyusaka is originally a resident of Sector 1, and the parents she knows aren't her biological family. Morimura was transplanting her own memories into Fuyusaka, but due to 426's influence, Morimura's memories are preserved as a hazy dream. When the kaiju appear in 1985, Fuyusaka musters up her courage and activates Sentinel Number 15, which Sekigahara passed on to her. In order to become co compatible, she tried to override her memories and personality to Fuyusaka and take over her body. But gave up on it after hearing that a loop was no longer possible. Okay. Morimura was implanting her own memories into Fuyasaka, which is the which is the cause of Fuyasaka's troubling dreams. You know, it's weird how we got how it's like it's this one when like 
I mean, Grant, we know that... Like, they're the same. At some point, I feel like she's like... She actually... I mean, in truth, she... She is the woman he knows as Mo Miss Moimura. Don't know who the he is. Wish they were do that. Whatever. And then we read that loop. Here we go. If you save your own data or shift yourself to Sector Zero, then you will be able to skip the reset and end up in the new world, which is 16 years in the past. While maintaining your current appearance, however, you would no longer be human in the new loop, but merely a simulated personality that Universal Control has reconstructed. See, okay. Okay. That makes so that's so weird then. It's like it's so weird that loops are 16 years. So it's like if the 2089 version or the adult versions well actually no. So if they're adult, I mean if they're 30, if they're 32-ish or 31-ish, then I guess they'd go back to when they are, I I'm thinking of like, oh, they loop as like back when, I'm thinking it's like, why would they, they're looping when they're supposed to be a baby then. No, they're looping when they're teenagers. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. I'm understanding it a little bit better now. And was that all of them? That seems to have been all of them. Okay, check out these events. When, obviously that scene af that scene of Seki Gahara passing down this Sentinel had, no, maybe it didn't, maybe that took place right before he lost his memories. No, I should keep an Okay, so after I saw that. So this happens after she runs into Okino. But they don't. There has to be scenes when they go. Yeah, it happens somewhere between here and here, probably. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, he transfers the Sentinel right before he loses his memory. Okay. That, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. So it's like, he transfers the Sentinel. Then shit happens. And then he loses his memories. Invincible schoolgirl. Freaking love that. Awesome. Wow, this is all shaping up to be fucking awesome, guys. I'm, I'm loving this game so much. This game's fucking awesome, man. Wow, now granted, majority of this video was just me talking. But that's what I like to do. Because I like to be like, oh, what if it's just like this? What if it's just like that? That's what I like to do. I like doing stuff like that. So, um, and granted, I was, I did just feel a lot about like, uh, you know, bullshit. Like about the, uh, the, the dub of this, the dub of the, uh, of this game and such. But still, I, I feel like it wasn't too long. I felt like it was still majority of story and me being like, Love shits like this or shits like that. So it's still like, you know, story related stuff. So I don't feel terrible about it. But guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play 13 Sentinels. In the next part, we shall. We would normally be playing as Takatoshi, but that's not going to happen. We'll be playing as not. Actually, we can't play as not snow until we do Yuki. So we'll be wrapping up Megumi. We'll be doing Megumi's story. So thank you all. For watching, I honestly, I can't wait to see how Megumi's story will wrap up. So, thank you all for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you guys like about the video, didn't like about the video. Let me know. <laughs> what do you guys think about the whole, the more information with the loop and universal control? How it's like, you're technically, if you transfer to Sector Zero, you'll be fine for the loop, but you're not a human. So, you have to find your quote-unquote teenager self. Mm, is that why she's on the bridge is after she already looped the first time? That probably is the case. Because this is the... They've, they looped twice, so we're technically on the third loop. So... But now I'm actually quite curious as to... Baby... Baby Chihiro. 
she probably ended up killing her. She's probably the one that ended up killing her in a way. That's probably what's going to happen, especially the way that ended up. We'll see. So, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the loop. So, and yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as from my on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG Kingdom Kid Tour, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.